What's up, you guys? I'm here at YCS New Jersey with my boys, Joe Grizz, Asian Persuasion, you already know. And we are here with the one and only, the Pendulum God. <laughs> shout out to Sam. He introduced this guy to us, too. Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? And All shout right. out your YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, uh, uh. I am Steven Trifonoski from Trip Gaming, a.k.a. the Pendulum God, the Pendulum <laughs> Master, the one and only, I am legend. Shout out Will Smith. I am the greatest. For those of you who, who never seen my profile, I played 60 card pendulums today. What did I do? I talked. Top 60 card two, pendulums. Baby. Who said pens are dead? I who said it. pens are dead? At me. Because you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay? 60 card pendulums, 4 negates, 5 negates, 6 negates, 7 negates every turn. Easy. Hand trap me? No problem. No problem. 3 negates. No problem. They can't do anything. Guys, if you think pendulums are dead, watch this video. It'll change your life. You know? <laughs> think otherwise. Your so, first of all, the greatest pendulum in history. Wisdom Eye Magician. Uh. It's all the magicians here. We play three of these, we play two of these, and one of these. You don't need that big of a magician core. You only need enough that do, do all the job. Yeah. Three Wisdom Eyes. Harmonize is needed for a combo. I'll show you guys in the very end of the video the combo where you have like an easy four negates through like the shittiest of hands. Yeah. But harmonize is neat. Like these are amazing. And then two of each of these, nothing's more needed. Poison is actually a garnet going first. And one of each of these, Black Fang's garbage. But you need a, a scale eight to add a pen call. And you play six pen calls. So you need all this. The perfect engine. That's magicians. And then for the turbo cards, we got three chronograph, three Cerberus. Three curtain razor, and we got uh, four, one foolish, and three shrine. Some people play one foolish, one shrine, but come at me, play 60 cards, and you can play come three. At me, bro. Come at me, bro. All these is 13, <laughs> and I side some more going first, but I'll get to that later. And then, uh, so that's it for the turbo cards and the plus cards. So the way you should play the deck now is the minimal amount of magicians because they're actually garnets. You just want them in the scale, you want them in the scale. And that's it. You want them in the scale and you want a pen harmonizing. You don't want to draw too much of it. You want to see one or two or a pen call. No more. Anything else is just a brick. It's like drawing a D turtle. Yeah. But they're level four, so whatever. So that's the most you should play. Next, the plus cards. These are very important. Three Bambuku mm. and Nekomano. One card Totem Bird. One. one card plus, plus, plus. Everything pluses. It's not a normal summon. It's not normal or special. So you loop Chrono, the whole point of the deck. Draw one of the 13 I just showed you or one of the 16 going first. Because I have three showing, uh, uh, three in the side deck that I'll show later. But you draw one of those 16 or 13, and you win the duel. Because you send a chrono to extra, special the chrono, special one of the thousand plus cards I'm about to show you guys, and you get infinite pluses. You get infinite electrums, and infinite fodder for the electrums. Then you just destroy their life. So <laughs> these are the magic specters. More pluses. Then we got three Dark Worm 2-0. Drawing Dark Worm is not the worst, because you could just normal summon and get a plus. It's a plus one. Like, it's... Uh, so this part of it. So drawing these are not garnets. Even drawing this is not a garnet. There's no such thing as a garnet in a pendulum deck. There's only such thing as garnets in trick stars because the whole deck is garnets. So they can't do anything. So you draw this, pop it with Electro. Lit. Like you could have the greatest card in your you draw the greatest card in your deck, pop it with Electro and do the same thing as this. You just want anything to pop and then you keep going. And then this, 3DD Kepler and a Thomas. Why? Because Kepler add contract. Contract add Thomas. Thomas at Kepler. That's Plus awful. three for free. Would you ever need any of these cards? No. But you special electro. <laughs> pop pop a card, so it's one of the three. Special chrono, special the, the Kepler. And now you got the fodder for free. You got the fodder for free. Remember when Astrograph Astrograph was a plus three. Because Astrograph, you would loop it three times in one turn if you followed my Fortnite Gate build. Or if you're an idiot and played like uh Starving Venom FTK, then don't watch this video, go away, I don't like you. But this, you, Astrograph was never banned like this because you get the plus three off of Kepler. Yeah. If you don't hard draw the Kepler, you send it with Electrum. And if you hard draw a Chrono or a Kepler, you get a plus three. So Astrograph actually never left the deck, which is why I destroyed everyone today. Nice. And then three of Doctor because you play 18 spells, plus three Chronograph, which leaves the scale is 21, plus three Curtain Razor, leaves the scale 24. You play 24 spells in the deck, Three Kepler searches a spell, 27 spells. So you play 27 spells. Um, every time I drew a Duck, I resolved this effect. And it's unbelievably broken, especially versus Brandish, which is literally the entire meta. You put it in your scale. I got even lead one game. I got even lead. I got sphere moded. And then I got even lead. 
Then I stream one it, and then I got even lead. I had 20 people watching the game. I left an abductor. I left an abductor. The guy did it. He's an idiot. He didn't pop my abductor even though he could have. He wanted. He was very greedy. He wanted to get some more pluses with engage and stuff. Yeah. So I left my abductor. Because I'm a god, I drew Duelist Alliance. <laughs> Duelist Alliance get Pendulum called. Abductor get Dark Worm. Pen oh, called Dark Worm. And you already know the rest. I OTK'd him. You killed him that turn, bro. Then, re one rescue hamster. I go to rescue hamster every duel. Every duel. You don't need three because you only want to use the banish effect. The normal effect is like a bonus. Banish a bro, wisdom eye, put two wisdom, uh, like, just get two in there. Hamster get scales for three. Yeah, Hamster's key. One or three, no matter what. One luster only because you play triple duelist alliance, so you need any monster in the deck that says pendulum. And also because he's an OG. He's an OG. I was about to play pendulum before I'm about sorcerer with no other pendulum as targets. Just because I love him. I decided last second luster will help out. He, he's a, he was a good addition. And two jackal for Cerberus. And when you get trolled, people say, what do you do in your troll, bro? I say, bro, learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you just said jackals, <laughs> said jackals with Electro, and you get free monster negates. Yeah. Sure, I, I like two free macabas on board for nothing, like yeah, no problem. Then you, you do that with your, you play ma uh, Magic Specters, remember? Because you're you're the GOAT, yeah, you play Magic Specters. So you get a free totem bird. So you got totem bird and jackals through a troll, no negate, problem. Like, yeah. what are you going to do to two monster negates and, a, and a negate it evenly? You can't do nothing. So the spells, we have the two, those all the monsters, the two contracts I talked about earlier, the foolish of three shrines I talked about earlier, and then every draw card known in Yu-Gi-Oh existence that's good. Three desires, three allures, and then three pen call and three duelist alliance. So you have six pen calls, and if you have to on too many spells, and you want more monsters in your hand, duelist alliance get luster pendulum, and then, so it's, it's lit. And then pen call, always do your best to have a harmonizing in hand. I'll explain a combo later where uh, any two sevens and any two fours equals four negates and three two three cards in hand plus full scales and a set desires yeah. or like any spell card you have set desires set pen call because uh, of Griffin and it's like too good like, I, I got evenly five times this whole tournament five times five. not once not two times not three times not four five yeah. want to know what happened all those five times you won I won all five you won all I won all five tell me a pendulum deck that could win five times getting sphere moded. And at four of those five, I swear on my life, I swear on the Almighty God, Kirin, that <laughs> rest in peace. Rest in peace. I swear that four of those five, after the sphere moon, I got evenly. I still won. Still won, baby. <laughs> I still won. I'm undefeated. Never lost. Shout out, Lamar. Sixty card break. Sixty card. Sixty card perfection. Thanks. Now side deck. Three speed word passing Number grinder. <laughs> Want to know the only thing I sided the whole tournament? That card? This. <laughs> these nine cards, I didn't even side once. Yeah, red reboot. So don't even worry about these ones. Don't even <laughs> you don't even need these. Just these. Just Point first, the it's a free photon thrasher. You play 16 instead of 13. Will you now have 16 win conditions? Sure. 16 exodias. Like, it's next. I don't, really don't need more main decks because it's perfect, so I have three extra deck cards. Tornado and Omega. I was a monkey and I didn't main deck Tornado Dragon. So I left it in the side deck for anti-spell. And then just the, this for cherries, this for anti-spell. Going second, you play this. Going first, you play this. And there's always in the extra deck, one or two cards that are only good going first or going second, so you just switch them out. And then the literally the MVP of the whole extra deck after Electrum, Cowboy. <laughs> the extra. Enough set. <laughs> Stick to the game line. plan. Stick Good. to the game plan. Game plan Three right. Electrums, Firewall in the middle, Exodia, <laughs> Nightmare Goblin, Underclock Taker. Goblin is probably the next card I'm taking out, but it's still good because it's a free card and it's uh, having the arrows helps out a lot. Metaltron, because when you brick or when they open Infinity Hand Traps, you go Metaltron and then Pen 3, Harmonize, you still get five monsters. Firewall, because again, enough said. Griffin, <laughs> enough said. Every single turn is Griffin, Firewall, Jackal, Vortex. So those are it's the four cards I do that I think is an auto win. It, it's absolutely unstoppable for any deck to break unless they're playing Draco. And if they're playing Draco, I just go a Dweller instead. So that's auto win itself. Yeah. Out of, it, dweller passes auto win itself. So that's all. That's the end board uh, with the the Jackal and the thing. Then Totem Bird because you, you, you play Bambuku and Cat. Uh, at the end of the day, Totem Bird and two Jackals is game as well. Yeah. Why overthink things? If I see that, I just like, bro, I'm not gonna stop wasting time. He's gonna summon two Jackal and Totem Bird and you still win. Time Star because needed for the combo, I'll explain later. Dweller because Dweller. I uh, would rather Tornado though. Uh, Naruto, uh, these, and then Ignister. 
I only played Ignister in case I uh, face a bunch of noobs playing Kuki that don't know how to extra link. So I would just take care of the nightmares and then I win. But I'm taking this over Borla. Borla. So that's the extra. And now I'm going to show you guys just the one basic combo uh, with one curtain razor and any four random cards we draw. Alright, let's see it. Alright, you cut that? I gotta like fix the deck.